Well, what's going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to the show. <laughs> what are we doing today? Well, look what we got today. Still working on the Stu Mac kit guitar. I'm still working on the dovetail joint, trying to get it to fit. And uh, my God, I'm getting some hours put into that. What do we have here? Gibson, Les Paul, beautiful guitar with major itch issues. Maybe you can tell from me just hitting the strings here. Terrible problems there. Now, about this guitar. I can't tell you very, very little bit about it, okay? I can tell you the owner sent it away and it came back like this. Had some work did to it, came back like this. He said it, the owner said it played like butter before and now it's like this. And the fourth string saddle, for whatever reason, is higher. You can see what kind of, I'll bring you over here and show you all this stuff here closer. You can see what kind of uh, setup it's got there. Uh, wow. If you look right here, I'll bring you over here, like I say, closer. Let me just do that. I can show it to you better, I think, and tell you what I'm talking about. All kind of issues going on with this guitar. Uh, we're not going to do anything major to it today. Just want to check it out, find out what's wrong with it, basically. And then, uh, next video on it, start the work. Hold on. Uh, you probably can't see it in this uh, clip, but the fourth string saddle here, this entire saddle, you know, maybe you can see it a little bit right there. The whole entire saddle is sticking up higher than all the rest of them. It kind of looks like the third saddle is too. And the second. Weirdness. Maybe that, that's to account for um, the radius. There, I think you can see that fourth string saddle. Yeah, right here. Check this out. There's a fifth string saddle right here. Here's the fourth. Uh, there's just something funky going on there, okay? Now there's more. Hold on. Check this out. Look how far this, this, uh, the bridge is cranked almost as high as it will go here. See what I mean? It's just barely setting down on the thing, man. If you come over here to this one, it's about halfway, uh, half, it's, you can still go about halfway more with it. It's about halfway there. This one is almost maxed out as high as it will possibly go. Okay. Now, let me put you back in the tripod and bring you over here and tell you what I know. Now, with this cranked up as high as it will possibly go, this is a set neck, so you know, it would be a little more complicated to shim the neck. But it, it makes you wonder, with this all the way up high as it will go and the strings flattening out on the, the neck here, the fretboard, you know, it makes you wonder if the neck is at the right angle or not. I got a ten thousandths here. I already checked this. Look, it won't even go under there. You, It's hard to force it under there, man. I can force it under there, but you can hear it. You can hear how tight that is. A ten thousandths. That's way too low right there. Uh, I'm not even going to check the neck relief, and I'll show you. That's what I was going to do right now, but I changed my mind. I'll show you why. I take a straight edge here, all right? And I'll bet you, you can see the straight edge, the length of the fretboard. I bet you I can rock it. Yeah. So we have major back bow in this neck, for one thing. Major back bow. So... The nut uh, first fret action could be okay. I don't know because we got back bow in the neck. I looked down it, held it up, looked down, sighted down it. And that was the first thing I saw was a whole lot of back bow. Now I've already got a wrench out here for that. I'm going to loosen this truss rod. If my ratchet will hold together long enough. I didn't find one, by the way. And then we just, uh, real quickly, check this again. No more back bow. It's still got a problem, though. <laughs> but at least we don't have, I can't rock the thing on there now, so we don't have any back bow. 
see if it changed the first red action it did it's not it still a 10 is still less well that goes there to 10 there on the first string it's weird the lower e base e string is lower first red action is lower than the high e string anyways let's let's look at the uh, neck relief real quick here I didn't measure it. I just all I did. You see me do it? Just loosen the. Uh, and I need to see if I'm still up to pitch. First, it's actually a little bit sharp, which is okay for right now because we're not fine tuning anything. We're just get, getting in the ballpark, getting an idea of what this guitar's problems are exactly. Wow. <laughs> I'd like to see. Twelve thousandths. We got my shit together today. I'm really tired, man. I'm telling you what. Here's the twelve. Let's just use it. Twentieth fret. Come down here to seven. I have a twelve here. Yeah. Eight. We actually have more than twelve thousandths on the. Uh, the neck relief yeah quite a lot more and that's okay for right now because it's still buzzing out man something's still funky going on that's too much neck relief right now the, the truss rod was too tight just wow I'm gonna loose the strings and bring this uh, side of the saddle up and I'll bring you back after I do that and we'll see what kind of difference it makes take some measurements and hold on it's not exactly in standard tuning I, I think it's still a little bit sharp like I say that's okay for now yeah it is but that's okay for right now all I did was raised the lower base E side of the bridge, the saddles up. Um, wow, that's still that's very close, very, very, very close action. It's too close, and I'm sure we've got still got too much neck relief in this thing. I want to check the nut action again? I got a ten thousandths out here. Now it's at ten, truly. I raised that base side of the saddle up just enough to make ten thousandths. And you can, I think you can see that okay. Well, you can see it. It could be better. <laughs> you can see it good enough, hopefully. So let's check the neck relief again. I got a feeling I'm going to have to tighten all the, loosen all the strings. And tighten the uh, truss rod a wee bit. 20th fret. 7th fret. Seven, eight, nine, twelve thousandths. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. That uh, fourth string saddle being higher than the rest of them, it's really is weird. I'm sorry about that, folks. Sometimes I just completely lose my head. <laughs> Never did find it, really. Well, there's still a few more frets to go. Yeah, this action is just super low right now. Uh, the low E string. 15th fret is 
is uh, 364. So, wow, I knew it was low. What is it? It's the 12th fret. 364. High E string. It's the 15th fret. It's 464. And 464 is at the 12th fret. So that low E side here really needs to come up some more how much more might you ask if this is 464 uh, I could, could probably go with that a little bit lower and have the base E string at 464 so oh yeah okay hold on to me pause the camera loosen the strings raise this puppy up a little bit more we'll come back measure a bit more try to find out what's ailing this thing man alright what did I do only thing I did Loose the strings. I raised this base side up a wee tiny bit, just I mean like quarter of a turn maybe, and lower this side, the high E string side, a whole lot. I need to find out from the owner if he's a heavy-handed guy or light-handed or how he plays to get a final setting on this. But I, we're going to have some uh, issues back here to the bridge saddles as well. All right, low E string now at the seven, at the uh, 15th fret is exactly 464, dead on the money. High E string. 15th fret for 364's uh, that's much better 12th fret it's 364's 12th fret low E string it's it's 464's but it could stand to come just a well, one of those hairs higher <laughs> And I don't have to tell you all what kind of hairs I'm talking about. I don't think. <laughs> that low E, the high E string is okay. The low E string, yes, it can come up just a wee little tiny bit more. So let me, I lowered this high E string quite a bit. You all saw how it was almost ready to pop off the peg. It was so cranked up. Lowered it quite a lot. And I want to raise this side a little bit more. I guess I'll just keep you here and do it. And that's enough to turn it by hand. And there's about a half a turn, actually. Close enough for bluegrass. <laughs> So I've heard. It still could come up just a little bit more. Do it again. Those must be some really fine threads in this thing, man, for me to be able to turn it like that. got intonation to set everything to set when it comes to the setup on this guitar now we are at 464 on the low E string 12th and 15th fret the high E string is still at 364 on the 15th and the 12th fret all right
like I say, I got a two millimeter pick here, so it's almost impossible to hit the strings easy with it. There's no fret buzzing other than me hitting them extremely hard. <laughs> All right, check everything again. You got to check everything until you are sick to death. All right, all I did was I loosened the uh, strings, tightened the truss rod up about a quarter of a turn. Boy, that truss rod was cranked, man, when this guitar came here. When we started on this video, it was tight, really tight. You seen the back bow it had. Uh, anyways, just now, all I did was uh, tighten it about a quarter of a turn and tighten the strings back up. It's in tune, I think, now. I got a cable on the first fret. Already sound, it rings out better. And we're going to come down here to the 20th fret. Come to 7. Got a 12,000 here. Yes, it is. And bingo. Look at that. It's a little bit tight here on the ninth fret. Gets a little tighter on the 10th. That's the rust on my uh, feelers gauge. Yeah, that's 12 thousandths, man. That's 10th fret's a little tight, but the rest are good. All right, check the string action again. I might as well go ahead and raise you up for that, unless you want to look at my fat belly. <laughs> yes, sir. We should be getting very close to the wall park now. Anyway, still going to have to... This is not the final setup. I'm just, like I say, getting it in the ballpark. we got to take all this off. Take that fourth string saddle out and see how come it's sticking up like an erectified saddle would might stick up. 464s. Low E, 12th fret. Uh, 464s. Low E, 15th fret. 364s, high E, 15th fret, and uh, 364s, high E, 12th fret. So there we are. You seen it right here at the host that never sleeps. Uh, let's see what. Sounds like the intonation might be... Strange enough, the fourth string intonation is flat. Camera's probably not getting this, but I hear that. And the sixth string is very flat. That means we got to move that saddle forward. And the fourth string saddle needs to come forward. And we have, it looks like we have plenty of room to do it. The guitar is a 1972, by the way. I don't know if I said that or not. But, uh, beautiful guitar, man. It's just a really very crappy setup. I don't know who set it up. I don't know. I don't think it was the owner. The owner is a very good guitar player, a good friend of mine. And I just didn't ask him if he set it up or, you know, I, I, I assumed the condition I showed you it was in was the way he got it back because he brought it here. He said, fix it, man. It used to play like butter. Now it won't play at all. And he was right. It wouldn't. There's no buzzing there going on. So anyway, I just wanted to show it to you get started on it. Got an opening for it. Finally stuck it in the opening. I had, uh, I'm booked, uh, I am booked up, man, through September, through September, almost, I think, I one opening in September, and I told him, I said, just bring the guitar here and leave it, and then the first, uh, cancellation I have, I'll stick this guitar in it, that's the only way most people can get in, or mail your guitar to me and just let me keep it here until I get the cancellation, or wait until October, <laughs> uh, so anyway, he chose to bring it here and leave it, and finally, after I, I've had the guitar here, I don't know, a couple of weeks, three weeks maybe, I don't know. It's been a while though, I finally had a cancellation and stuck the guitar in there. So you know where we stand with it now. Next video.
we'll take the strings off and uh, take this bridge saddles off and uh, he might want to replace that with a new tunematic or something I want to talk to him about it we'll see what we get into with these saddles especially that fourth string saddle that sets up so high I showed it to you I don't know what we're gonna maybe we could grind it down yeah I don't know but we'll get in there and see if it's different from all the rest or what the problem is with it as of right now we know the neck relief is right the nut action is 10,000 so it's way lower than I like I don't like to go any lower than 15 minimum you know I really like to set them 16 to 18,000 on acoustic guitar 15 minimum man on an electric guitar but it's okay if you can get it down there without buzzing this one I don't think is buzzing I'll check check it closer later but anyways, we'll do all that, put new strings on, set the entire thing up again, check the electronics, uh, just make sure everything works. I noticed, uh, I noticed one of the knobs are different from all the rest. Can you pick out which knob is different? <laughs> I'm sure that was real challenging for you. Back on the Stumac guitar, still got it, I'm still working on that dovetail joint. In fact, it's laying right over there. God, it's just a time-consuming thing, you know, to get that joint to fit perfectly. And I will not glue it until it fits perfectly. All the way along the tenon, you know, in the mortise. I want complete, I want them to touch completely all the way along the length of them. And fit tight and per just perfect, man. And it takes forever to get that, but I'll get it. I'll get it just eventually. And that's what's coming. Either Stumac guitar will probably be next. The next thing you see, I don't know. I really don't. I'm wore out. I've been down at the hospital all day long again. And I uh, figured I'd come home and get on a video. I need to get this guitar started on it anyway. So we are, at least are started. And you'll see it again. Cheers. I don't want to get into rambling mode. Don't get me started. Cheers. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you soon.